Maybe you've heard that James Edward Oglethorpe helped found the colony of Georgia. But what do you really know about him? Oglethorpe left Georgia in 1743 and never returned again. Oglethorpe continued to attend meetings of the Georgia trustees in England for a little while, but he eventually stopped. In 1745, Oglethorpe was put in charge of troops and sent to defend England against a Jacobite uprising in Scotland. If you'll remember, Oglethorpe's family were Jacobites. Some people thought Oglethorpe didn't try hard enough against the Jacobites, even though he did keep them from invading. He had to go to court to defend his actions. He was officially acquitted, meaning he didn't face punishment, but his reputation was hurt. In 1752, Oglethorpe lost his parliament seat. That same year, Georgia became a royal colony, and the Georgia trustees no longer had any say in how the colony would be run. For the rest of his life, Oglethorpe spent his time with his wife and friends. He also supported writers and spent a lot of time studying and reading. Oglethorpe lived long enough to see Georgia become a state in the United States of America. Did you know that Oglethorpe met with John Adams twice in June 1785? John Adams was the first U.S. ambassador to Great Britain. John Adams wrote that Oglethorpe expressed his great esteem and regard for America on their first visit together. His two meetings with John Adams were some of his last. Oglethorpe died on June 30, 1785.